<sighs> What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a cool unit poster on Keynote. Unit posters are really cool for just a cool decoration to put up in your classroom and so that students know what unit you're in. Because you know, they might forget when they go class to class to class, what are they studying in biology? What are they studying in language arts? But when they come to your class, they will know, oh yeah, we're studying, for example, the Russian Revolution in world history. So what you're gonna wanna do is open Keynote down here on the dock. And because we are making like a poster or a placard or any kind of artistic thing, I'm gonna go with a black background because I just think it looks a lot better. And so drop that down to 50% just because I like to see everything that's going on. Delete these two text boxes. And now we can get started. So I'm gonna make this for the Russian Revolution. I'm gonna make this as a unit poster for the Russian Revolution. And so one way that I like to do it is I like to put a wallpaper background uh, for this poster and I'll show you how I do that. So we're gonna go over here to Google. I'm gonna type in Soviet Union, there it is, wallpaper. And that'll take us to here and you'll see some really cool Soviet Union wallpapers. So hit images. The, thing, the reason why I search wallpaper and I put that word in there is because typically a wallpaper image is going to be a large, high resolution image because people will put it as the wallpaper on their, on their desktop. So that's not what we're gonna use it for. So we're gonna look at these. I went ahead and like hit large. And so these are all very large, mostly high resolution um, photos. And I kind of like this one, even though it's the very first one, it's kind of cool. I also really kind of don't like how it's blurry, as you can see, it's not the sharpest image, but if you look over here under related images, that one looks really sharp. And so I think we're gonna go ahead and use that. So I'm gonna click on it and then drag it and then just drop it, boom, right into Keynote. Let's go ahead and just drag that out so it covers the whole thing. So now that we got our background where we want it to, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move this down a little bit so that this logo is close to the bottom of the frame or the close to the bottom of our, uh, our poster. And this part is where it can get a little tricky. So let's try to stay with me. Go shape, just click um, the rectangle or square. We're gonna drag it out right here just like this and you'll see why. What I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna blend this line. I'm gonna blend this red line in with the black. And so we'll take a shape like this, come over here to fill. Fill needs to be on black. So now it's a black box. Hit the same box, go down to gradient fill and hit that. And you'll see how it changes from black to black white. And then this is black and then this is black and white. And you can leave the angle at 270. If you go to advanced gradient fill, just make that also at the angle of 270. Um, make sure you have this left one um, where it says use a linear gradient. That's what we want. And then make sure that these toggle things where this is black and this is white, make sure black is all the way to the left, white is our, all the way to the right. And make sure that this thing is in the center. Once you have that, you can see the shape all of a sudden becomes a blended line. And so the last thing we want to do is we need to add text. And so I'm going to hit text right here. And in this text box, I'm going to type Russian Revolution. But we want to make this a cool text. And so um, I've downloaded it off the internet. Where is it? A font called Soviet Bold. And so We'll make it bigger, make it like, let's try size 75. Nope, too small. Size 100, let's go 150. That should be about right. And we also want it to be red. And so to, in order to match the red to this red, what you can do is um, click on this little thing over here that's full of colors. You click on that. And of all the color options you have, it's pretty simple. You just have to click on this one down here. And then whatever color you click it on, for example, if I click it to this yellow, it'll make the text that exact same yellow, but we don't want that. So we'll click it again and make it red. And then in order, you kind of see like, you know, it's hard to see at the bottom. 
We'll go over here to the style tab, hit shadow where it says no shadow. We're going to give it a drop shadow that gives it a little bit more pop. And um, let's put this at like 10, this at like six, and then this at 100. And as you can see, it gives it much more of a pop. And so to give you an idea of what this will look like when you print it out and laminate it and put it on your wall, you can just hit play and bam, that's what you'll see. All right guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and let me know what you wanna see next on Keynote. But anyways, I'll see you guys on Friday.